Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to moderate what is being said in audio files in Python. So this is what our results are going to look like. Here we have a list of parts of this audio file where something is being said that might need to be moderated out. Uh, we get the text of what is being said. We have the confidence level for this label. Uh, what kind of uh, problem there might be with this uh, part of the audio file and the severity of uh, what is being uttered. So here it says crime and violence, but the severity is very low. So maybe if it was 0 0.9, there could be something about crime or violence that could be very disturbing to the listeners. So let's build this. So to achieve the content moderation, in this project we are going to use Assembly AI. Assembly AI has some audio intelligence features and content moderation is one of them and that gives us the results that we've just seen. So to do that, first we need an Assembly AI API token. So let's go get that. You can either use the link in the description or you can go to assemblyai.com, create an account through Get Started. And once you have an account, you will be automatically assigned a free API token that you can copy right from here. And here in our project, we have a main file where we are going to have the actual code. And in the configure file, I'm going to keep my assembly AI authentication key. And once I've done that, of course, I also want to import it here. And to talk to assembly AI, we are going to need to use the requests library. And it's actually very simple to start a transcription or audio intelligence job with assembly AI. All we have to do is to send a post request. Inside this post request, we are going to need three things. The first one is the endpoint, of course. This is the endpoint that we are sending the request to. And we are going to use the transcription endpoint of assembly AI. And the next thing that we're going to need is the data that we're sending to Assembly AI. You can either upload your data or your audio file to Assembly AI, or if you like, you can upload it somewhere else and just pass the URL to Assembly AI, which will be a faster way of doing it. So that's how we're going to do it. And it's going to be in JSON format. So I'll also just call uh, the variable JSON to keep things simple. So the first thing that I need to pass is the audio URL. And also in here, I want to include what I want Assembly AI to do on top of the transcription. And here we want to do content moderation. So we want to turn the content safety feature of Assembly AI on. Because normally, if you don't specifically uh, tell them to be true, it by default is false. All of the content moderation, sentiment analysis, and all, basically all audio intelligence features are by default turned off. So once we did that, the next thing that we want to include are the headers. Headers are going to help us authenticate ourselves with the authentication key that we have. So let's set that up. The first thing that we need, of course, is the authentication key. And the second thing that we need is to tell Assembly AI what kind of content we're sending its way. And here we are sending a JSON format. And this is all to start a transcription job. So let's see what Assembly AI, what kind of response Assembly AI sends to us. And then we can understand what we need to do next. All right, so this is the result we get from Assembly AI. It includes some information that we need. For example, the ID. This is the ID of the transcription job or audio intelligence job that has been started. We also have some other information like the language model that is being used or what kind of features are turned on. So as you can see, sentiment analysis, entity detection, and everything else is turned off. And what we want is a content safety. So let's see. Content safety is turned on. So that's what we wanted. Now using this ID, we can actually ask Assembly AI when the transcription or audio intelligence job is done and get the results. So for that, I'm going to create a while loop. Inside this while loop, what I want to do is ask Assembly AI if transcription is done. And if the answer is yes, print result. So to do that, we are going to continuously have to ask Assembly AI if the result is done. So I would create a function where I do exactly that. 
And to inside this function, we are going to need to create a specific endpoint for our transcription job. That endpoint is going to consist of the endpoint that we have already and a transcription ID. The transcription ID we are going to get from the result of uh, the submission of uh, the transcription. So like the one that we saw here, this is the ID. So very simply, it will just be response.json ID. All right, this will be the polling endpoint. And once we have the polling endpoint, what we're going to do is again to use the request library and send a get request uh, because we are not actually sending any information, any data. All we're doing is to ask for data and we are going to send it to the polling endpoint and I'm going to include the headers again for authentication, of course. As a result, we are going to get a polling response. This response is going to tell us whether the uh, transcription is done or not. You can already actually see it here if I look for status. Status is queued. Immediately after you send it, it turns into processing. And then after a while, it, it is completed. Or if it's not completed, if there was an error, then it errors out. Um, and once we get the polling response, we can actually return the polling response here with the information. And I will call that function here, actually. Uh, of course, this needs a transcription ID. And here I will need to call it with the transcription ID. And the resulting thing that we get, I'll just call it data for now. So just as we've seen here, we have the status. So here, to see if the transcription is done or not, I would have to see if data status is completed or not. And if it has been completed, then we can print the data. So we're doing that here. We'll be doing that too. Uh, what else we want to include? We also want to see if the transcription has errored out. We want to warn the user about that. So I'll just say if the status has is error, then we are going to print, for example, there was an error. And we can also print the error section of our results just to kind of see uh, what went wrong in there. Uh, so that's basically it. That's all we need to do. Just something that I want to fix here is instead of just printing it, I actually want to use pretty print uh, so that we can understand what's happening a little bit better because we're going to get a lot of information. And also I would like to add some waiting time uh, in between asking assembly AI if the transcription is done because otherwise we're just constantly asking uh, and there is not really a good use for it. Uh, so we'll just say time, sleep, 30 seconds and we can say before we sleep print waiting for 30 seconds uh, so that's all we have to do actually uh, one thing that I forgot is that we need a slash here uh, to build the URL properly and that's all that's all we need to do to ask uh, send assembly AI the content moderation job and then uh, wait for it and get the results so let's run this and see what the results are looking like We got the confirmation that the transcription job has been started. We have an ID for it. And now we're going to probably wait uh, a couple of minutes before we get the results. All right, our transcription is done, but I've just realized that I forgot to stop the um, while loop here. So I'll just need to add some breaks here once we uh, get a result or once it errors out. Uh, so and I, I will just stop this one. Uh, but we have the results. So let's go through the results and see what they look like. Uh, yeah, so this is what we get from Assembly AI. As we also seen before, we have the text of what is being said when there was something that, that might need to be moderated, the severity of the situation and what kind of thing this, uh, what kind of label or class that this text belongs to. Uh, here we got, for example, health issues, we got profanity, uh, we got health issues again. Uh, so I guess this talk was a lot about health issues. <laughs> so we got a lot of it. So basically, um, by using Assembly AI's API here with the audio intelligence, you get the information of where this sentences that might be problematic was talked uh, on or what, what it was and also when. So you have the start and ending timestamps 
of uh, when this part was talked about. And uh, that's basically it. If you have any questions about how we build this project or how to use Assembly AI's API, don't forget to leave a comment in the description below. And before you leave, don't forget to go get your free Assembly AI API token, either using the link in the description or by going to assemblyai.com. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.